Hi, how you doing? My name is James. Today's video is to clarify and talk about glazes that we use in our clinical theater. Just the other day I taught a posterior class which included Emacs and Zirconia and we used three different glaze and coloring systems. These are the three that I find necessary in my clinical theater today and I will review them with you on this video. I have a color, Mio 850, and then we have Mio Aesthetic. They are not the same glazes, that is the two Mios. So we're going to review these various glazes and their applications and then I'll give you a rating because whenever something goes into this furnace I want it to be really smooth and the CS6 is working really well with all glazes whether it be on ceramic or zirconia and it has a vacuum. So this furnace, the CS6, is relative for today. It will optimize both the ceramic and zirconia processing and you can program it for anything on the market today. So let's get into the glazes and I'm going to rate each glaze for its application and how I use it in my clinical theater because I could not live without them. I want to make one more comment about furnaces. I just highlighted the CS6. However, the CS and the CS2, which is used a lot in the CAD CAM in-office theater, work just as well. They're just a little longer, but they're very effective. The one furnace that I don't favor for these glazes would be the Speedfire by Dent Supply Serona, though it's a good furnace for katanas. I like it for the katana. I like it for the Ceric Zirconia, but I prefer to use the CS6 when I'm working with the Zircad MT Multi or the Zircad LT. It has a vacuum that enriches the colors. Also, it improves the translucency, particularly on a 3Y Zirconia. So there is a difference there. In fact, in the class I just did the other day, most of these people had used Katana and the Katana 1, which are great zirconias. I use them as well with the Speed Fire by Dent Splice Runa because I can turn it around quickly. However, <laughs> there is a however. When they looked at the Zircad MT Multi and the results, particularly in that cuss tip, they were very impressed even with the polished they felt like they favored the aesthetics of the multi. The following are the categories that we're going to rate the glaze and the colors with. We're going to have a glaze rating one to five and these are my ratings based off of my anecdotal experience and what I've seen in my classes. So the first category is going to be the glaze, then we're going to have colors, whether it's applicable on ceramics, zirconia, and furnace speed. That would be the initial firing and a secondary firing if we need it or a third firing. So that will be the second furnace rating category. Before we talk about glazes, I want to talk about a design and contouring texturing strategy. In today's software, I want to see about 90 to 95% of our restoration morphological design in the software and that would be a occlusal table for posterior teeth, emergence, anterior teeth, that would be line angles and embrasures. We should be able to see these drop in particularly with the milling that we have today. With the prime mill it's definitely extra fine mill. So we're going to pre-texturize our ceramics. That's a philosophy I have particularly in anterior teeth. We want to over texturize about 10 to 15 percent. So when we add these glazes, whether it be the Mio Glaze 850 or the Avicolor Glaze, we can get a really nice finish. So for Ivacolor, which I've used for quite a few years, it's been my go to staining glaze, and it still is in some circumstances. As far as the glaze rating, I'm going to give it a 4.5, which is used to be my 5 until Mio 850 came along. But 4.5 means that it's going to retain the texturing fairly well with a good glaze cover with one firing. Now historically, I've even used Ivacolor on pre-crystallized ceramics. Though Ivacolor recommends it not to be used on pre-crystallized ceramics. I have used it that way for quite a few years and never had a problem. Now as far as the colors go, I like Ivacolor for subtle effects. If we need more saturated, more chroma effects, 
then I'm gonna go to some other systems. But for subtle effects, it's really nice. So in my clinical theater, when I wanna turn something around really quick, even on zirconia, I'm gonna use Ivacolor. I just mentioned zirconia. Ivacolor is effective on all ceramics and zirconia. I've used it on Felspathic, as you see here. I've used it on Impress. I've used it on Emacs and I've used it on Zirconia. In fact, in the class here the other day, we used Ivacolor on Zirconia, mainly because we can get that in the furnace, turn it around, and have a really nice finish with one application. So you place your glaze on first, then you place your colors on, it's in the furnace for 12 minutes, and it cools down, and it's ready to go. So when I'm in my clinical theater and I need to turn something around, I'm definitely gonna go for Ivacolor, and it looks really, really, really nice for subtle effects, and the glaze is excellent. So for the application one for furnace speed, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. We're just around a 12-minute cycle for that, and if you need to add more colors or glaze, it's still another 12 minutes. So that is still one of our best turnaround cycles. Now, if I'm going to over to the CS6, I can get that down to around 10 minutes in that cycle. Now, our next system that we wanna talk about is Mio 850. This is just for Emacs. When you hear of Mio, there's Mio Aesthetic, and that's been around for a while, but 850 is just for Emacs because that's the firing temperature. Now, as far as the glaze goes for Emacs, 850, I'm gonna call it that, is bar none the best glaze I've ever used. With one application, you can put it on pre-crystallized surfaces, as you see here, what you see in pre-crystallized application is what you'll get in post-crystallized appearance. And it's been quite amazing. In addition to that, you can learn and train yourself to place on the colors pre-crystallized, as you see here on the incisal edges. We have smoke, we have storm, we have halo effect, halo spring, lumen, and then we have cervical dentinal shades. And I have found this to be very effective when I'm placing this on my surfaces. So as far as the glaze goes, we're gonna give it here at the Clem Institute a five-star rating. Now, when it comes to colors, it's four and a half. It's still really, really good, but the best coloring system is going to be the meal aesthetic, and that's the next category of stain and glaze. But let's stay with Mio 850 right now. Now here's the caveat of Mio 850. It's just for Emacs. It's a system that's specialized for Emacs, particularly pre-crystallization. So you're not gonna see it effective for zirconia and your other ceramics. As far as furnace time goes, it's excellent when you're placing it pre-crystallized. Now, when you're adding after crystallization, it's not as effective because right now we're using the corrective cycle, which is long. It's over 20 minutes. And by the time that cools down, you're looking at 24 to 25 minutes. So when we're applying it after crystallization, it's not as effective from a time standpoint. Now, I think this is something that could be changed. I'm experimenting with some other cycles right now where we can get that faster than the speed crystallization. So since we can place on Mio 850 in the crystallization cycle, we're gonna give that a five star for the furnace step one. Hopefully that's all we need most of the time. And in my theater, now that I've gotten used to it, I don't have to add additional colors very often. So we're gonna give that a five. But if we need to go and do a second firing, it needs to be the corrective cycle on your furnaces. That's a bit long, so we're gonna give that a rating of three. I've heard that a few in the industry have been placing it back in the speed crystallization cycle, mainly because it's faster, but we don't wanna do that. That will deteriorate the strength of Emacs if it goes through more than one crystallization cycle, so just keep that in mind. But all in all, Mio 850 has been a game changer in my clinical theater because I can get my shape down, put the glaze on, put on nice characteristics, and get that nailed probably 80 to 90% of the time now, now with experience, with one firing. And you can see the results are just exceptional 
Here's a veneer case I did, it's B1HT, and I did that with one firing, upper and lower, and I could turn that around in a very short period of time, and we did that case over a period of two days. So it does make a difference for speed and aesthetic in my clinical theater. Now the third system of staining glaze that I prefer in my clinical theater is Mio Aesthetic, particularly on zirconia. It's a zirconia beast. I'd give it a five star rating across the board on aesthetics. What I've been able to do now is when I use Zircad MT Multi, I can interchange that in a case with Emacs when I'm using the Mio Aesthetic. I can create a nice and sizzle edge. I do have to use more than one application, particularly with the glaze, to thicken that glaze up and it looks like a ceramic. So as far as the glaze goes, I gave it a rating of three for this reason. I find that I have a hard time making it work on any ceramic or zirconia with one glaze. The glaze just doesn't fire as well as the Mio 850 glaze, which I think is the best glaze, and it doesn't fire as well as the Ava Color. So hopefully one day that can be modified. What I've noticed in the industry is usually when you're using the Mio Aesthetic, you're using it with a lot of colors. So you're putting the glaze on as a wetting agent and then you're placing them colors and the colors are fives. I give it a rating of five because they're the best. You can float them with great saturation or very subtle saturation and you can gradate it. You can feather the colors and they just don't blotch very easily. In other words, you can really create great saturation without blotching. I've never seen anything like it. So with this system, this is what I do sometimes when I need to add more saturation of the colors is that it's usually my second fire on particularly zirconia or Emacs when I need to add some subtle characterizations that have more saturation like a tetracycline case. It works extremely well. Now it is applicable to both ceramics, all ceramics, because it's a low fusing temperature and all zirconia. So that's the good news. Now, as far as the furnace application, particularly when you're working in a one appointment procedure, that's where the meal aesthetic is a lower rating. I give it a three both in the first firing and the second firing, mainly because it's over 20 minutes. In fact, I think it's around 22 in most of the firing cycles. So that's the downside of meal aesthetic for us that are turning it around in one appointment. But as far as the aesthetic goes for zirconia, there's nothing like it. And even on Emacs is great, but the one caveat with Emacs is with multiple firings, Emacs has a tendency to go lower in value. So be aware of that. You can make that work for you, but usually it's gonna work against you. And that's where 850 comes in great is because we can apply that with one firing and you can do the same with the Ivy color. So all of these stain and glaze systems have their advantages and disadvantages. But in my theater, I find that I need to use them all based on what I'm trying to do. And we also came to that same conclusion in the class that we did the other day. So in review, we have a lot of great glaze and stain systems on the market. I'm just mentioning these three. There's other good ones that I don't use, but they're out there. And again, if I only had one, I could make it work for everything outside of 850, which is just for Emacs. But I hope this clarifies some of the confusion I've heard between Mio 850 and Mio Aesthetic. People are getting that confused. Maybe part of the confusion is trying to order the Mio 850. You have to go to Mio850.com at the time of this video. You're not gonna find Mio 850 on the normal Jensen site. Whereas if you wanna order the Mio Aesthetic, you're gonna to go to the Jensen site. So I'll post those below here in the video so you can have a link. And as far as Ivy Clutter goes, you can order that through your main suppliers like Shine or Patterson, or you can call Ivy Clutter to order that as well. But I do use them all, I couldn't live without them. And I hope this video clarifies what really helps us to sizzle in our clinical theater using CAD CAM dentistry, regardless of which material we're using. So, 
If you have any comments or questions, make sure you post them below. I want to hear what you have to say. Until the next video, you folks take care. Bye now.